Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I caught wind of something that is really awesome and we're going to be checking some things out here. Um, Navigraph has added the ability to access charts directly from the toolbar in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And so we are going to check that out. We're going to get it installed and see how it all looks. So stay tuned guys. This should be a cool one. All right, so as you can see here, guys, we have the download link from here. The link for this page will be down in the description below, so make sure you guys check this out. If you have a Navigraph, subs Navigraph subscription, that is a prerequisite here, so make sure that you guys uh, get your uh, subscriptions going. If you don't have them, trust me, it's absolutely worth it if you do any kind of uh, IFR flight. So once you download this, it will launch the installer. You um, the installer will pop up. You pick the directory, obviously get it installed, and then it will ask you to log in. A web browser will open up. You'll confirm your credentials, log in, and then it comes back to this page here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click install here. Actually, it looks like we got a couple here. So we're going to install the air rack directly from here. Oh, do you have to hold it? There it goes. Okay, and then we're going to install Navigraph Charts in-game panel. All right, so it looks like that is ready to roll. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy and we'll launch the simulator and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so here we are inside the simulator sitting at Chicago O'Hare in our A32NX by Fly-By-Wire. And real quick, as we start talking about a really cool mod and add-on, I wanna make you guys aware of something or aware of something to, this is going to be exclusive to Patreon subscribers, but all Patreon subscribers. I have already posted the first version of my mods and add-ons list. This is a list of every mod and add-on tool, etc., that I use. Now, this one in particular is the first version. It's only about halfway done. I'm going to be updating it very frequently over the next couple of days as I add the rest of my third-party softwares, um, everything from recording software to um, FSUI PC7, you know, input and output softwares to my scenery and liveries. So, so there's a whole bunch more that are going to be added to this, and I'm going to obviously continue to add things on, including what we're about to discuss today as the time goes on. Many people have asked for a full list of everything that I use. I, as you guys know, review many, many mods and add-ons and et cetera on this channel, and so I figured I would share with you guys a list of the things that I actually use. So something to be thinking about if you guys are interested in getting a copy of that list as it updates and time moves forward consider subscribing to patreon it truly does help me out and helps the channel uh, grow and be able to produce some of the content that it comes out with anyway without further delay let's go ahead and get into what we're here to talk about so stepping into the cockpit of our a320 let's go ahead and come up top for a minute oh that's what i get for over tapping things there we go leave some of these off here most of this is just for our sake here so let's start the APU boom boom and boom love this airplane anyway what am I missing here external power is on I'm thinking I have a cockpit livery that's broken how lovely for us Huh, well, good thing I don't need the system today because I obviously have a livery installed for this that is not functioning. That's very odd. Anyway, get off track. So, what we're going to hear to talk about today is this guy here, the Navigraph Charts. So let's go ahead and click on it. And again, it's asking to sign in, so let's go ahead and do so. And let's see here. Please visit and enter the link. All right, so I'm more than willing to bet if we expand this out, we can click on the link. Oh, maybe not. I can't tell if it's letting me copy that or not. All right, so let's open up a browser. Where we have this Navigraph. Let's zoom this down a little bit. 
I don't want to use the QR code. I can, but I don't want to. So we're going to do HTTPS. Um, what are we looking for? What is this? Whack, whack. Oops, forgot my colon. Giggity. Whack, whack. Nevagraph.com forward slash code. All right, so let's do that. Let me turn the filters off. There we go. Let's type this guy in. And we have S6 Zulu Romeo 57 Victor Victor. I don't think it matters. This is bound to the account. All right. Cool. So we can close the browser. Let's close that. So you guys saw how that was done. And there is our chart. Now we can already set between, let's expand this a bit, light mode and dark mode. Come on, come up. Why are you doing this, homie? There we go. And let's see what kind of access we get. And if it tells us, for example, where the aircraft is. Um, so Chicago or here, that's K-O-R-D if memory serves. Yep. And let's open up the book. Go to our taxi info, airport info. This should be the one I want. Come on. And let's see if we can track the aircraft. Could not connect to the simulator. That tells me that Simlink is not running. Let me double check that. So I'm going to go to start menu and I'm just going to start typing the words Simlink. Navigraph Simlink is an app. I'm going to click on it. Although it says Simlink is already running, so maybe this is not a feature that is yet implemented because it said it could not connect to simulator. But if we go to Navigraph here, this is the actual desktop application. And I'm going to do the same thing, K-O-R-D. Let's just see if it's truly having an issue or if it's an issue with the app. Interesting. Why can't you connect to the simulator? Hmm. So, let's try something. I'm going to close Simlink. And I'm going to launch it again. Navigate. Oh, wait. Let's do just type Simlink. So, again, I'm just hitting start, and I literally just start typing the word Simlink. Now, it wants me to sign in. I'm signing in. Brings up the browser, tells me to sign in. I signed in. O open Navigraph Simlink. Now it's telling me to assign the plugin. But we're good there. I'm going to hit close and see if this works now. Boom! There it goes. Okay. So that's working. So I just had to log out and log back in. Let's see if it's looking, working in here now. not giving me an error maybe I didn't actually click it there it goes and there we go so beautiful and all I have to do is mouse over it to zoom in and out so we now get our tax information we have our full access to the charts and all the other data that we would use charts for and let's see if I close this brings it back in here let's make sure everything's working in the same manner you can see the aircraft there on the charts page. Let's go back to KORD. Open the textbook. Go to taxi again. Airport information. Awesome. Very cool. So you no longer need to have the Navigraph Charts app installed on your desktop if you want to access your charts and taxi route information from the sim. I mean, and we can also go to the world map, obviously. Oops, if I hit the right button. I don't use it very often, so honestly, I don't exactly remember how I do that. But let's find out. Nope, flights isn't what I want. Let's open that back up. Uh, there we go. That's what it was. I knew it was something like that. And then you could even track your flight from the world map. Zooming out and getting a full picture here. It's going to take a minute to load that. There it goes. So, once again, very, very handy. Navigraph, um, 
stepped it up with that one. This is a really handy add-on. I, I absolutely am impressed as all heck with this. Um, I'm curious to see how it's going to update and if that's something that's going to be automatic or if it's something that's going to have to be manually run. That's my only concern is because each time, I mean, it doesn't happen too frequently anymore, but it used to be a real pain in the butt that every time I launched Navigraph charts, it would tell me that there was an update. And so I'd have to close it. And then um, basically what would happen is it would update and you'd have to shut the Navigraph charts down and then relaunch it. Um, so I'm sort of curious how that's going to work with the integration on the simulator as uh, obviously you're not going to want to close and restart your simulator every freaking time it has an update. So I'm, and you don't know that there's an update until you launch it. So that is one sort of thing that I'm a little curious about. But other than that, being able to add all of your favorite uh, airports, these are all of mine. These are all of my favorites tab. So just by logging in, you get that access. Having it directly in the simulator is going to make a really big difference, especially to those of you who fly in VR. That is a massive game changer for this that makes charge readily available to VR users as this is being displayed from the simulator and not from your desktop. Okay, so way to go Navigraph on that one. I hope you guys really enjoyed this quick video and uh, are excited about this as I am. And uh, I think we have a commercial flight in our uh, near schedule here. So stay tuned for that as this is something I'm going to want to see in action. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Memorial Weekend. Please remember what this holiday, if you will, is about and remembering those who have fallen for our country and those who continue to dedicate their service. Thank you all for all that you have provided to us and continue to do every day. Until the next one, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.